What's going on there YouTube? Welcome to Tech on the Mark. I'm your host Mark, also known as the Knowledge Flexing Texan. Today I have another re-upload for you for a product review and unboxing I did. This was part of that less than $1,300 computer build I was putting together. I know I still need to finish that video. Uh, <laughs> I got a long way to go on it, but uh, here's uh, one of the parts that we unboxed for it. It was a computer I built for my sister. It was the Logitech C525-720P HD webcam unboxing and review. I uh, don't have a lot to say right here. Let's go ahead and stroll on down the road back to that old unboxing video. Uh, we'll get it unboxed and everything and since we've had it for a while I'll come back give you some updated final thoughts on it. The 720p got a built-in microphone now 360 degree swivel there and it also has autofocus. Here's some specifications there on the side it's a info on the other side right there. Let's open this guy up and see what he's all about. Anyway, pulling him out of the box there. We got a quick setup sheet there. Guess a little warranty information card there. Nothing special there. There's the webcam itself. There's a little webcam guy right there. It opens up like that, and then you stick it over top of your monitor there, and then you kind of close it down and it keeps it in place by friction, I guess, you know. It does spin all the way around there, you know. That way, if you want to make them hide, in case you're afraid the government might be spying on you or something like that, you can. And he also can close all the way up like that, you know. If you want to put them away for storage or whatnot. Got a standard USB connection. No driver software or anything like that seemed to be included. I guess they expect you to go uh, download it from their website or whatnot. Just my hat there a little bit. Anyway, here's the Logitech webcam all set up and everything. I'm recording with the camera right now, but I'm also recording some screen capture software there so I can show you all the settings and everything. I'm going to cut back and forth between those two videos. So this is just the camera footage now. I'm in a low light situation here. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, uh, it's doing a pretty good job compensating for the low light. I actually turned off one of my extra lights just so I could do uh, a little bit with this video here uh, showing you how good it actually did work in that low light situation. Now I'm going to cut over to my screen capture software. Over here you can select your mic if you had different mics input or whatever. Uh, you could also do standard widescreen there and you could also choose your size there. You know. If you go under standard there, you see we got small, 320 by 240. Now, if you're going to email little clips or something like that, that would probably be the setting you want to do to make a small file size, you know. But anyway, under screen resolution there, you see we got small, 320 by 240. That's under the standard now. Now, medium is going to be 640 by 480, and that's where I should be about right now. Now, large is going to be 2 megapixels. That's where I'm at now. You can also zoom in. We can zoom all the way back out, if, you know, all the way as far as you want. We'll go back to widescreen now. Now on widescreen, our resolution options are 360p. That's the smallest one. Then we've got medium there. That's 480p. And then we have optimized 720p. And that's where I'm at now. I'm at optimized 720p. And then we got large, 720p. What that large is going to do is going to make a little bit better quality video. And then down here... We have follow my face, okay? If anything ever more scary for me is something following my ugly mug around, it got to be this camera. But I can click on that, follow my face, and I can move my head over here. And you see, he'll try to follow me. He'll zoom in, adjust the iris a little bit there, come closer to me. I move my head over here, he's going to do the same thing. He's going to try to follow me. Move my head up here, or down here. He's coming to get me. He's like the boogeyman. He go follow you wherever you go now. Then you have auto focus down here. You can uncheck that and then adjust your focus normally. You see, I'm kind of fuzzy now. I adjust my focus a little bit too high, just too low. I'm still a little bit fuzzy. So we're just going to leave auto set up right there. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to look down here. 
Okay, down here at the bottom of this, you see we have all content. This is either videos we recorded, any photos you may have taken, any videos you recorded, and any motion video. Now, now you can set this camera up if you want to leave your computer on, turn your monitors off, and stuff like that. Uh, to record motion, only when it detects it, and it'll save it for you. Use it as like a little security camera for your bedroom or whatever, wherever you might have, wherever you might have your computer set up. Now we're going to go to advanced settings right here. We're going to click on webcam control there. You see we have all the same settings we had on the previous screen. Now, but under advanced settings here, we have image quality, right light. Now what that does, it takes a low light situation like I have in here and makes it a little bit brighter, makes it a little bit easier to see. I'm going to turn it off so you can see. It's a little bit dark in here. You see the picture gets a little bit grayer, a little bit grainier. Uncheck this auto thing here that controls the gain and exposure, and then you can adjust those manually if you wanted to. And you can set the exposure real high, and you set it real low. Here you can adjust your brightness, you can make things a little bit brighter, a little bit darker. Depending on your preference now. You can also do the same thing with contrast now. You can bump the contrast down. You see, I look like one of them freaky 70s, uh, crazy Andy Warhol, psycho kind of movie things. I don't know, man. There's some weird stuff going on there. I don't know what it is. You can adjust the contrast up, and then you see, I can start looking a little bit cartoony. You can also set the color intensity now. You can set it down to zero. Then you feel like you're one of those little black and white westerns or whatnot. Art Nouveau or whatever they call that. Hell, I don't know. Then you can set it up really high. And when you set it up really high, you notice that everything gets nice and vivid, but uh, it's also real noisy, you know. And then you can also uncheck the auto adjust for the white balance there and adjust it yourself. You see, if I move it all the way to the right, everything gets a little bit warmer. You move it all the way to the left, things start getting a little bit cooler. Until it gets a little bit too cool. Man, I feel like I'm cold. It's freezing in here, man. What am I going to do? You can also turn off any flicker here. Uh... I'm not real sure what that does really. I think it's supposed to help with the flickering of the lights, like fluorescent lights and things like that. But if you do that, you're also changing it from your standard NTSC 60 hertz. Now that's from North America, you know, Canada, United States, Mexico, uh, run on the NTSC uh, standard for video processing, and that runs at 60 hertz. But if you live across the ocean somewhere over there in the east, uh, you probably want to set up the PAL for 50 hertz if you're going to be using this camera. And then over here, you have image orientation. Now, they can slip, keep that at normal. Now, a normal, this is what I would look like normally to you if you ran into me on the street. But to me, I look backwards, okay? Because when I look in the mirror, I see myself flipped around. Whenever I'm looking at this screen and trying to point to something, my finger goes the opposite way. I'm trying to point over there to where it says Logitech HD Webcam C525. And I'm pointing that direction in real life, but you see my fingers going the opposite direction. So if I want to do it, i got to mess myself up and go backwards and say, it's somewhere right here. You click on mirror there, boom. Everything's normal to me now. This is how I look when I look in the mirror. You know, I can see Snapcats backwards, all that stuff. And then I can see the menus right here. So if you like looking at yourself in the mirror, the mirrored version might be the option for you. I kind of prefer that, actually. Now you can click Save and save all your settings there. Boom, they're gone. But wait, I made a mistake. My exposure's too high, my color's way off. I want to reset this back, what I do. Very simple. You go right back there to Advanced Options, click back on it, and you can hit Restore to Defaults now. You click on that, boom, you're right back where you were. Anyway, up here you also have your Preference menu, you know. This is where you can save wherever your files go and all that stuff and link to your Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can also check for software updates here and configure them. Uh, notify me automatic when there's one. Download updates for me, but let me choose when to install them. Or you can automatically download and install them. You don't have to even worry about it. Think about it. Uh, a quick capture. You can set the microphone, audio input level. You can set the quality of the audio recording and the quality of the video recording there. LED control, I think that controls the LED on the front of the camera there. Auto just means it comes on whenever you're using the camera. Under general here, you know, you can show the webcam icon in the system tray. You can auto launch webcam controller, keep webcam controller on top of other applications. That just means that this little window here is going to stay on top of everything if you click on it. But that's about the basics of the video settings up here. Also, you can click up here for help. Get the user manual support. I'm not going to go over all that with you. So now, 
I'm going to show you a little bit of the photo options there on the Logitech webcam. First off, you know, this is your little camera button here. You want to take a photo. It'll count down. And then you get a photo. You know, you got to hold it for three seconds, you know. It seems like a real long three seconds. So you can click on it there and open it. Now you can send it to Facebook, to Twitter, to YouTube. If you set all that stuff up, you click on it there. So anyway, that was an unboxing and review for the Logitech C525 720p HD webcam. But if you're in the market for a decent webcam and in the price range, you can't really beat it, I suggest you pick one of these up. That's about all i got to say about it. Uh, like I said, product uh, link will be in the video description below. If you found this video likable, enjoyable, or informative, please be sure to give me a like, a subscribe, and a share. It would mean a lot to me. Uh, don't forget to visit me on social media. All that should be showing up right down here on the bottom of the screen right now. And don't forget to visit me on my website, www.techonthemark.com. Thanks so much for watching, YouTube. I sure hope you have a great day.